Hola amigos, it's Miss Betsy with a science lesson. And it also has to do with Earth Day. Okay, we have talked in class about the difference between a solid, a liquid, and a gas. So a solid is something kind of hard, something you can touch. This is a solid. Let's see, let me find some things around my kitchen. This cup is a solid. This crayon is a solid. Miss Betsy's a solid. We can touch these things, they're hard. The next thing is a liquid. This is something you can pour. Inside of my cup, which is a solid, is water. Water is a liquid. Milk is a liquid. Juice is a liquid. Pool water is a liquid. Anything that can be poured is a liquid. So we're gonna do this science experiment to turn these crayons from a solid to a liquid back to a solid. Oh, I forgot to talk about gas. The last one is gas. Gas is, it's hard to see the air we're breathing right now. Breathe in with me. We can't see the air, but it's there. That's the gas. When your parents are boiling noodles on the stove and the steam rises up, that's gas. Okay, so gas is hard to see. When you have a helium balloon that's floating in the air, inside of that, the helium, that's a gas. Okay, so we are going to make these crayons. Now I'm gonna turn the camera down to my paper so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, since it's Earth Day, I picked all kinds of blue and green crayons. And I want you to pick all different colors, okay? And then you're gonna peel your crayons. I've started peeling some already, you can see right here. And you're just gonna take, you kinda need to take your fingernail and peel the paper off. Some of them are easier than others. And if you have trouble, this one's pretty easy. If you have trouble, sometimes if you soak the crayons in water for a while, the paper will come off, okay? So let's see, I'm getting all these pretty blues and greens. The pigeon class, we love to look at the names of the colors because they're super fun. This one is called Robin's Egg Blue, other, otherwise known as Pigeon Blue, we like to call it. Um, but if you'll see from my Circle Time video, the Let's Find Out, talked about robin eggs and that's the exact color they were. Let's see what this one is. This one is blue green. So it's a little bit in blue and green mixed together, which is um, perfect for this science experiment. Okay, so these crayons and the paper that they're wrapped in are both solids. I wonder how we could get these crayons to turn into a liquid. Does anyone have a guess? Think about that. Crayons are made of wax. How do we get wax to turn into a liquid? If you guessed to get them hot, you are right. We have to melt them. So this is blue. Let me get a little more blue. Now when I'm in the classroom and I do this experiment, I use a muffin tin with the mini muffins. I didn't have that at home, so I made do, and I'm using a regular muffin tin. Um, oh, yellow green, that's a pretty light color green. Our earth is made of all different tones of yellow, or of green and blue. So all of these different colors together are amazing. Okay, next thing you do, once you get a whole bunch of blues and greens, um, without their paper, <clears throat> excuse me, and without their paper on them, you're gonna break them into smaller pieces. Now, this is good for the strength of your hands because it can be a little bit tough um, to do, but you're just gonna take it with your two hands and break it into as many small pieces as you can. Okay, snap, snap all these pretty blues and greens, azules and verdes. Oh, this one's a little hard. Sometimes if you push on the counter, it works too. And while I'm um, doing this, I've got my toaster oven heating up to a very low heat, because you're right, we do need the heat to melt the crayons. 
So I've got it on, I think I've got it on about 200. Okay. Now I'm going to spray, and I don't know if you have to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm gonna spray a little bit of cooking spray just so our crayons don't stick. And then you put all these beautiful blues and greens mixed up in your muffin tin. Okay, look how pretty, friends. Okay, that should be enough. All right, now let me get my camera here. We're gonna take it over to the toaster oven. And this is a part where your parents will have to help you because it's very hot. And now we're gonna let those crayons sit in there in the muffin tin and get warm. Okay, friends, I've got my crayons in the toaster oven and I've got it on low heat. And we're gonna let them melt. And when they melt, what will happen to them, friends? You're right, they will become a liquid. They will become melted wax. We're gonna let that fully melt and then we're gonna pull it out with your parents. Your parents are gonna pull it out because it will be very hot and we're gonna let it cool. And when it cools all the way, you will be able to pop the crayon out and look what will happen. You will have an earth crayon. Now, look at this, my friends. Look how beautiful this is. It became a solid once again. And when it fully cools, you can use it to color with. You can use it and it will have all kinds of blues and greens. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. All right, let's check on our crayons. Whoop, still melting. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. We don't want it too high, but I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Okay, friends, our earth crayon is done melting. Okay, so we're gonna pull that out. Miss Betsy's got her hot pad. And parents, I did end up putting this on about 250, 275, just to get it going. Uh, you don't want it too hot because it will smoke and burn. Let me close this up and turn it off. So now friends, look, look at how beautiful. Now, the hardest part, we're patient and we wait, we wait, we wait until it cools off. Once it cools off, we can pop it out. Okay, I'm gonna pause this video while I let my um, melted. Oh, and look, I did wanna show you this friends, how it's a liquid now. Look, if I jiggle it, whoop, can you see how I could pour it out of there right now if I wanted to? That's how it became a liquid, but I don't want to pour it out. I want it to become a solid again. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I let it cool, friends. Let's turn it over. Let's give it a pop. And there it is. Our beautiful earth crayon. Have fun coloring with that, friends.